how to get better at contested shots. If you're on this video and your shot is constantly getting contested or even blocked, and you're wondering how can you get your shot off better? How can you make more shots even though your defender is contesting it? You came to the right spot. Let's dive right into it. Okay, we're gonna divide this video up into three different sections. First, we're gonna talk about contested shots off of a catch and shoot position. Next, we will talk about shooting off the dribble and going against somebody that's contesting your shot and you're shooting it off of the dribble. In the third section, we will talk about sort of a fadeaway or a 180 degree turn into your shot. This is a more advanced move, advanced finish going against a contest. Okay, we're starting with the most common and then we're working our way up. But the first thing that you need to become great at doing is being able to catch and shoot quickly so that your shot's not always contested or blocked. So shot preparation, we talk about this all the time. You need to be prepared to shoot before the ball comes to you. What that needs to look like are my legs need to be bent. I'm left-handed, so my shooting foot is back. My right foot is up, my hands are up, locked and loaded. As this ball comes to me, I'm going to receive the pass with my shooting elbow locked and loaded in a nice L position. I'm not catching it like this, and I'm not standing straight up. I'm bent, my arms are locked and loaded, so that when I catch this, all my energy is going up at the basket. Work on having great shot preparation. And so if you have somebody that can pass to you, you need to be bent, locked and loaded, and working your way around the perimeter, mid-range, or from the three-point line to become great at getting your shot off quicker. If you don't have somebody to pass to you, work on spinning the ball to yourself. And you're just going around the perimeter the entire time, working on spinning the ball and being locked and loaded, ready to shoot it. Getting your shot off quicker from a spot up situation is the most important thing that you need to be doing to avoid getting your shot contested and blocked all the time. And when you are contested, you're gonna be able to get it off in the consistency and mind to muscle connection you're making. Even though there's a hand in your face, you will still be able to shoot it effectively because you've worked on it hundreds and thousands of times. Next, we're talking about shooting a contested shot off of the dribble. The first thing I wanna tell you to not do is to do the step back, fade away, James Harden, three, four step fade away that you'll see sometimes. So when we're talking about our footwork, we wanna have a one, two step, planting our feet and going up right away. We're going forward, right, left. If I'm going that direction, left, right. So you need to have great footwork off of the dribble, planting your feet the correct way to quickly elevate then and get your shot off going against contested shooters. So a good drill is to start off close and then eventually work your way out to mid range and the three point line. And all I'm doing is going both directions. I'm so close to the basket, I don't need to jump, but as I get further and further out, I am working on jumping higher and higher. The key here is to work on your footwork, planting and staying low. So I'm not so concerned up close about jumping high as I am staying low. Footwork left, right, and then going straight up. The footwork, the planting, the going from low the high is most important as you develop your pull up jumper. After you get really good in close, then start jumping higher and higher, then increase your range out further and further. The key to becoming great off the dribble is planting your feet, elevating over the defender while the defender is back on their heels. So as you get good at making these moves and you're attacking, that's going to get the defender to start turning their body, and they're not gonna be able to stop and plant and contest as easily. You, as the offense player, know what you're gonna do before the defense does. This will allow you to get your shot off better. It'll allow you to score more against contested shots. 
Hang on, before we move on, I wanna remind you guys about the launch of the individual personal training Facebook group. Here's what you get by joining the group. I've got a 100 page document of tons of shooting drills that you can apply to yourself right away. You will be able to upload your videos and I will give you my breakdown and my feedback for you to become a better shooter. Next, we will have a weekly question and answer section. I will go live on there and you can come on there and you can ask any questions. Hit the link below to join. And the third and final section that we're gonna talk about is being able to score off of a bit of a fadeaway or 180 degree turn. So right now I'm facing you. If I turned all the way, I'd be turning 180 degrees. Now this is a very highly advanced move. The key here is going to be our shooting foot, our shooting leg. So as we turn, I'm gonna turn and shoot against you. I want my shooting leg slightly out. Okay, so I'm left-handed, my shooting leg will be slightly out. This creates a counterbalance. If I just begin falling backwards and my leg is straight, I don't have very good balance. But if I put it up a little bit further, this counterbalances me. So now I've got better balance as I go forward and I go back. So you'll see great players like Jordan, Kobe, as they go to do their fadeaway, their shooting foot will be out in front of whatever hand they are shooting. During the All-Star game back in the day, Kobe asked Jordan, how do you feel your defender when you go to a fadeaway? And the answer, Jordan told him, with your legs. So that's one way when you go to a fadeaway that you can avoid your shot being contested and missing it or getting blocked is being able to feel your defender with your leg out there. It not only helps with your balance, but it also helps with knowing where the defender is and to create that separation. So you can do this again by starting right up close to the basket, just doing small 180 degree turns. I'm here. The more advanced you are, the more fadeaway you can do. Then you can work on adding a fake spin one way or the other to it. Then you can add a dribble with a shoulder fake. So the leg kick with your dominant leg is very important to countering that balance, creating the separation, and being able to get your shot off effectively against hard contests and taller players when they are defending you. So to summarize it up, if you wanna become a better shooter when people are contesting your shot, first of all, you need to be locked and loaded with your legs, having your knees bent, having your arms up, so when it comes for a catch and shoot opportunity, you are ready to go. Next, when it comes to dribbling the ball, you need to be great at one, two steps, going both directions, going up quickly, going from low to high, and then freezing your defender, getting them on their heels so that they don't have time to get up and contest your shot. And the third thing that we talked about is when you are inside, you are more advanced, you do have the opportunity to go to a fadeaway, work on that leg kick out, that's gonna create some separation it's going to allow you to have better balance when it comes to a fadeaway shot. If you've learned anything in this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Check out all my other videos. My goal on this channel is to make you the best player that you can become. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.